Well, let me start by saying that the ideal scientific advance, one that I don't see on the horizon just yet, would be a definitive way to either prevent or cure lymphedema. And if we assume that that isn't going to be forthcoming in the immediate future, we need to talk about what we can do to accept lymphedema as an inexorable consequence of breast cancer treatment to optimize the outcome for the patients. And in that regard, I think that um, some of the elements that we've been talking about need to be objectified and studied and uh, promoted actively. So attempts to identify disease early or particularly to identify the latency stage of disease and to make valid observations about what that means both in the presence and absence of interventions. I think studying actively the impact of early intervention to try to limit the progression of disease is another very, very important area for the patient population. I think we need to better define elements of risk so that we can define really the highest risk subgroups over time. We need to define what are the genetic variables at play in the population that might be heretofore unrecognized that actually do predicate subgroups of patients to be at increased risk, and and there's every likelihood that that is the case. And I think finally, using objective tools to try to track the patient population and learn clinically what we can learn from the natural history of both their treated and untreated disease, both in the presence and absence of surveillance, is critical. We've learned so much from registries in so many varieties of clinical settings. I think the time is ripe to take a registry approach to the breast cancer population and specifically the subgroup who's being monitored for lymphedema in order to learn everything that we can about what happens when we take care of these patients.